this is a railway reservation system basically like uh, what we do to book it ticket in IRCT sites this is for uh, means users who can uh, log in and who can uh, means book a ticket cancel a ticket and that admin user can add a train add a station details uh, fare rules then cancellation charges then you can uh, schedule a train okay so there is just a different set of users is there like one is admin users one is normal users okay so for this project you need to have visual studio and sql server okay this is an asp.net project it is uh, run in browser so i will just uh, configure this project so once you buy this project you will get this all files like this source code folder which you have all that aspx and cs and dot code file and then this is a database script file you need to use this to configure and create the database okay so first we will create the database for database i will use sql server 2014 express edition so you can use any version of sql server uh, so first we will start sql server management studio so now you need to connect your database server so we just right click here and create a new database so i will give the database name uh, e-rail so whatever you want you can give it to the name of the database it will be new database without any tables so once you create it will show in the list e-rail now there is no table is there so i'll create all the tables i'll click on new query once you purchase you will get this uh, db script file it is have the, all the create and insert statement so you can just drag or, or drop here Okay, so it will show all that uh, create statement and insert. So you just run this uh, script, select all. And if you don't want, you can also use a file, open, again file, and select that script file. It will show here. So it is a database name. So if you give any new database name, so you have to change here. So this is the same database name we are using. So there is no need of change. Just run this, select all, and execute. So what it will does, it will create all the table and uh, just refresh it. So we'll get all the tables. Okay, this is a sample database is there, sample records, everything is there. Okay, so it is done. Now we have to configure your project. So for that, we will just copy this source path and start your Visual Studio. So I am using Visual Studio 2017. Uh, it is community edition. You can download from Microsoft site. So you can use any latest version of Visual Studio. Where it is on this one. Click on File and Open Website. Just uh, paste the source folder path. Click on Open. So it will open the project, and you will see all that uh, files. So. You just double click you'll get that uh, code file aspx code and this is the cs code mm -hmm. if you want to do any change you can do the changes also like if you want to add some text so you can do the change like or if you want to uh, set some images also so you can set the images also this images folder is there so you can change the logo and everything or if you want to add any type or anything okay so all coding is there set just uh, set the startup is and for connection there is a web config file there you have to just change that uh, connection parameter so my data source means my sql server name is rms so you can use uh, in your system it will be different so like sql express dot or localhost you have to change you can get these details from here like if you go your sql server just right click here click on properties you will get the name so you have to just copy and paste that name okay rms or in your system it may be dot sql express or whatever it is written you just paste there okay and the database name we already give the same database name so there is no need of change database name I am using that e-rail so if it is different you have to just pay there once everything just save this file and you run the project
also run the project you need to first uh, type user id and password okay suppose if you are normal user you don't have user id password you can register also like sign up for a new user so i am i will log in as a admin user so i will type admin so the id is 1 and password is it is written in the uh, installation guide you can just check there so default password is one two three four five. But uh, I mean, or you can just change your password also. Okay, now there is a this user master. So you can add any user if you want, or user can register also from sign up page. Okay, I will log in as a user also later on. First, I will uh, as admin. What is the option is there? So it's a master. It is important thing. The station master. Okay, so you have to just uh, add stations. I Means suppose you are want to set a train for uh, Mumbai to Goa so I will do that like I want to set first train so I will just create first station name so I will get a new station name say already CSTM is there uh, so I will just uh, use a Goa train now ok so I will create add station code Ratnagiri station name submit then add new click on station code goa goa relay type standard submit okay now once it is done you have to add it or uh, train so train master i will click on add new then i will give train number so i will give train number is one two three four or whatever you want, I will give 1004 train name Mumbai Goa Express train type super fast or passenger. Now, what which date it will be run? So, I take all day and number of coaches A1, two coaches, A3, two coaches, A3, two coaches, sleeper, seven coaches, general coach one, and ladies coach one. A reserve one. Let's submit. So new train is created. One zero zero four Mumbai Goa Express. Okay, passenger train. So if you want to edit, you can edit it. Now once it is done, you have to change the schedule and click again schedule. <coughs> Add now. So you have to start date. So I will give the what is it? Schedule date. So it will be 24 11 2020. Train number. So one zero zero four station code first which from which station it is started say uh, it is started from CSTM so I will select the CSTM means Mumbai CST ok distance in starting you have to put 0 this is the starting time so I will give the starting time is 9 only 9 and the purchase time is the same first day day 1 submit second the same thing we have to put the second station second station say it is uh, next station is Kalan Kalan distance say 100 and arrival time so once it is started from 9 so it will say 10 30 it will be reached by Kalan so I will put the 10 35 is the departure time day 1 next station now next station I will put the same train say it is where Ratnagiri so RTN distance say 400 arrival time say so it will be arrived by 2 pm now what will the departure 10 minutes it will stop there so i'll give 10 minutes day one now next is final station is goa so i'll give the next station goa and distance is uh, 650 and arrival time is say uh, evening 7 45 and this is the last station so there is no need of departure time will be the same on same day train is schedule is completed now there is another schedule is fare rules so basically this is that uh, what is the charges suppose distance is 0 to 99 which is 1500 uh, a1 coach same way uh, it is already there so you can add if you want anything now there is uh, another cancellation phase what will be the cancellation charges before 24 hours the charges will calculate when we cancel the booking now second one is reservation fees so there is a reservation fees already there so if you want to edit the value you can add edit the value 
Now once everything is setting, so uh, we can use it for reservation. So I will do, add a new reservation. So what is that? Uh, I will book a ticket from CSTM to Goa. So I will select the Goa, what, which date? So I have schedule is 24. Find 10. So it will come in. Whichever 10 is available in this uh, station between, it will show. Now we have to book a ticket. So I will just click on book ticket. Now first we have to check coach type. I will lay one check. What is the fare? 12,500. Reservation fees, everything is kind. Now distance available, two ticket is there. So if I want to reset and I want to say sleeper coach, check. So seven is available. So I will put the passenger name. Say with the age, I have to put the age of the person. Male. Now another one is only cat. Well, my theory then there is 20 then again you have to submit so it will show that fair and everything okay so I'll click on submit now once you submit the PRN, PRN number the ticket uh, requisition number is created okay the date everything is free so if I want to view this so I'll go PNR inquiry screen I'll type the number so it will display now suppose customer want to cancel one ticket so he can have the cancellation option he will go to that you have to put the pnr number then click on search then you have to select which uh, ticket you need to cancel so i will select that this one and i will cancel the ticket so it's been cancelling completed if i go again and show it will show one ticket is cancelled and you cannot cancel it only cancel which is already available Okay, this is the ticket. Now, transaction is an option where we can see the what is the transaction going on. So, I'll first transaction two days twenty one. So, I can have the November twenty twenty. Sir, so this is the two transaction is there. One is for booking and one is for refund. Okay, now I'll log in as a normal user so i'll go to again the user must have check id and password so i'll log in as a user user uh, id is 2 and password is this one so i'll log in 2 password 1 6 login now i log in as a user so i don't have the option of uh, the masters and everything so i can only have the option for booking and cancellation pn query okay i don't have other option so i can do reservation if i want like say my if i want to go ticket booking from cst to ratnagiri so i'll select that uh, ratnagiri option and date i have to put 24 because the schedule train is so it will come so if i go and booking so i can book a for my so only user can book a ticket or cancel and pay an inquiry but admin user have the all the option which i shown in let uh, okay so now once you buy this project you will get all this file which is uh, available like installation guide project report synopsis source code complete source code you will get then database script which you can use for create the database okay